Oh. Throw on to first, and the Yankee. Cookie Cowboy takes his turn now, looking to add some insurance to Come the on lead now. in the Put form in play. of that run standing out at second base. Yeah, a base hit right through the infield would probably do it, but you can bet those guys in the outfield are going to be coming up gunning if they get any right chance here, at all. Right here, the ball. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Well, this is a nice job. So the Yankees, of course, buoyed by a great start from this man here, David Price. What a performance he turned in. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, I thought he turned in. Thanks for tuning in. To Welcome to the show, baseball fans. Here's what's going on in the baseball world on this October morning. For Game 6 of the World Series, Jacoby Ellsbury was hot at the plate collecting three hits in the game, helping the Yankees defeat the Dodgers 6-5. to five. They have now tied the series at three games apiece and forced a decisive Game 7. Thanks for joining me. That's all for today's postseason recap. Same place, same time tomorrow. Enjoy the games. For the final time here in this calendar year, we have baseball on the show, and they don't come any bigger than this. It's the big one, Game 7 of the World Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the New York Yankees. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me are Eric Harris and Steve Lyons. And Steve, everything to play for here as we get ready for Game 7. Well, I think it's really been what you'd call a World Series for the ages. Back and forth, a lot of tight games, a very evenly played series. And now it's all come down to this. One game, nine innings for the World Championship, and this is what it's all about. Pull up a seat, grab some popcorn, but hang on for the ride. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2020 New York. And 
briefly here. A glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. A chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Who stands out to you, E.K.? Well, I think you better look out for that cleanup hitter. He does a lot of things right at the plate. He takes the simple approach and it tends to pay off. Masahiro Tanaka will be the Game 7 starter here in the World Series in front of his hometown crowd. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, he's been one of the most dependable starting pitchers around. He's got a career ERA of less than three. One of the best out there on the mound. And with that, let's give you a look at the Yankees' defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, Didi Gregorius has established himself as one of the finest defensive shortstops in the league. His range, absolutely unreal. And his arm could qualify as a deadly weapon. Instincts are second. Cookie Cowboy will get his first opportunity here in Game 7 and obviously a lot riding on every at-bat at this point. Yeah, it's win or go home. There you and this go. Is where Let you it really fly have to right start here. To lean on your stars. So he's going to have a lot of pressure on his shoulders to come up with something big. Hey, let her rip. Here we go. Kershaw comes set. Here comes the first pitch. Swing line. Round it, round it. Go, 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 go. Be trouble. And this will find the wall out near the visitors' bullpen. Here comes Ellsbury on his way home. And the run will score all the way from first. It's now a two-to-one ball game. Boy, now that's a home run and a double against him here in the first inning. It looks like he's had a hard time just settling in. And they're jumping all over him. That a boy. Cookie Cowboy stands in after hitting an RBI double his first time around. Boy, he had a great at bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. All right, hold on. Senior hold on right here. On the grass. And oh, the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. But uh, now the pitching coach is going to come in and have a word with him. And in the second inning, now once he makes sure he's okay physically, well, he'll be saying, hey, look, let's put all that's just happened behind us and focus on the task at hand. Cookie Cowboy will dig in here. Two for two with a double thus far. Yeah, and I like the at-bats he's had. Hey, let's go, kid. One time right here. Plate, hey, let's go, big fella. Here we go, baby. Find a good oh, pitch. There's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the series. And they take a 7-5 lead. And this is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing. And sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter here. So standing in, Cookie Cowboy. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. And you know, that's the toughest one to get in a cycle, but you can bet that he's going to try to stretch any double into a triple if he gets any chance at all. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game, as that makes this an eight-all ball game. That pitcher's got to be thinking, how can I throw a pitch like that in this situation? 
That thing was so right down the middle, it absolutely got hammered, and he knew it as soon as he let go of it. Standing in a perfect four for four so far. Cookie, Cowboy, and we'll see if he can put together a rare on, five guy. hit performance pitch, huh? here. Here's a swing, and oh man! Way out of here! So it's a solo shot to dead center. His third home run of the ball game as they jump ahead by three. Well, you talk about guys that have hit three home runs in a World Series game. Well, it's a pretty short conversation. Let's see, you got Babe Ruth, Reggie Jackson, Albert Pujols, Pablo Sanchez. Did it as well. And now this man right here. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is the kind of game that he's going to be reminded of until well into his golden years. And good for him. This has been just a truly great performance. Jock Peterson will stand in, and, and their season now, hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Peterson. Come on, fellas, let's go. Batanzas is ready. First pitch on its way. Ball and he takes one. ball one. Two out, nobody on. Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike. One and one. And this one runs a little too far in. Bowl two. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Taken called strike two. And now they're down to their final strike tonight. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. Now, I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone. And this storied baseball legacy can add one more chapter. The Yankees are again champions of the world. now on the show it's all over and you see the reactions there to the final out and down on the field we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the commissioner's trophy to the new world champs
Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium, 53,000.